What's up, everybody? I'm FHRC Brownie, and uh, it's almost nine o'clock in the morning here in San Francisco. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sort of an update. Not really much of an update, but um, this is something that I kind of want to think about doing on the channel, but at the same time, I really don't, because I'm giving this thing a lot of thought, and if you guys know me personally, um, especially who, uh, my girlfriend knows me personally, because, you know, she's, she's one of my fellow, not just one of my fellow subscribers on my YouTube channel, but I met her on, at college, so I'm not, almost a year ago, and, um, uh, but for those who know me personally, I, I did kind of tell you guys that I just got a new job. It's not really much of a new, new job, but uh, I, I consider it more of as a new job. So, for those of you who are, who are, been in the channel for a while, um, my last update, I did say that I got a job at McDonald's uh, as a the guy who works in the kitchen and uh, aside from, I mean all in all that it was okay the experience was all right not the best but totally not the worst in my at least in my case um, the only problem is I I decided to resign resign the job it's just basically a polite term of I quit um, the reason why I decided to resign from working at McDonald's is because, number one, they didn't give, they don't, give, they're not giving me enough hours to work. And the other reason why is they, I, I was playing, I was playing some Forza with my, with some of my friends on Xbox. And for those of you who were watching this and who were playing with, playing with me on Forza Motorsport Seven on Xbox, you you would know what I'm talking about. So, I was playing Xbox, playing some Forza with my friends, Connor and my girlfriend, and uh, I believe uh, Ultra Nova, which is one of my friends on Facebook, also another fellow subscriber, and also a friend on Xbox. Um, they also, they heard the conversation that I was having. And what that conversation was is, the, um, the assistant manager, the one who who organizes all the schedule for all the workers, they told me that they told me that I, sh I should I should be at work around this time. Uh, I was playing Forza in the morning, and then at ten o'clock in that in that morning, they told me you should be working. You're you already you're already late. I'm like, what? You guys never told me this. And I understand it's not the responsibility to tell me about this. But the problem is right here that I'm seeing here is I went to the manager in advance. I went to the manager in advance to ask if I if there's any other days that I could work. And the manager then himself said, no. I only have you on Tuesdays. I'll basically do an on-call for you. So basically, what an on-call is, if they're if they're not giving you enough hours, uh, enough regular hours, if there's nobody in the roster, or at least in their work team, that's available to work on that day, they will call on another person who's to fill in. And that itself is fine with me, but the problem is, I'm not getting a lot of hours, and for the, f and telling me that I should have been at work around that time even though I was never told and I even double checked with the manager they said I don't have any work on on on, on other days other than Tuesday so what I did was I decided to resign I resigned at McDonald's once again, it's just basic resigning is just basically a polite term for I quit. So, I gave them an advance notice. I gave them at least a week or two of of notice that hey, I'm gonna be leaving this 
leaving McDonald's as an employee. And another reason is I quit McDonald's is I, I'm actually filling in for DoorDash. I actually got another job for DoorDash. If you guys don't know what DoorDash is, it's basically, if, if you guys know pizza delivery, if you guys go to Pizza Hut, Domino's Pizza, you know, and you don't, you're, you don't want to go to this, to the, um, the restaurant or the pizzeria just to pick up your pizza, a driver, a hired driver is, will take your, your pizza to your door. And that's essentially what DoorDash is. But unlike your typical pizza delivery driver, I can literally go to any other restaurants like, um, any restaurants, like it doesn't, if it's, it could be a dining restaurant or it could be a um, fast food joint, it could be like Burger King, um, the Habit Burger, all those kind of stuff. So that's what I'm actually doing. And my last paycheck at McDonald's was about, um, if I remember correctly, about 60 something dollars. And that was for four hours of work. I actually earned that same amount of money in that same in that same time span when I was doing DoorDash. But I was actually able to work for more than eight hours. So, so I was working at McDo uh, McDonald's. I was working at DoorDash. Um, the longest I went was at least uh, nine hours. So that's basically a typical job, a typical full-time job, plus an hour of overtime pay. And I made like at least a hundred something dollars, which is not so much for, sorry for a shaky camera, um, like I said before, um, this camera stands not the best, but I know a hundred something dollars is not a lot, okay, I understand that, but it's actually, to be honest with you, it's actually more than what I get from McDonald's, believe me, it's more than I would get. And I made three hundred dollars within within the, the week in the last during the last week of April. So I was quite happy that that was the case. And honestly, I know some people say DoorDash is just like a secondhand job. It's, it's like Uber, or something like that. Well, let's put it this way: my dad earns over a thousand dollars within a day of doing Uber because just like. DoorDash and, and Lyft, the um, Uber is the same thing. The, the time fluctuates and the, and the amount of money you earn fluctuates, meaning that some areas of, of whatever you're working at may be busy and sometimes they're not. So that's what it is. But when times there are, there are busy, there are times that are, that's, when there's a, like a busy time, like a really busy time, a, a very busy time, the money is coming in real fast, and the money, the money payout is high. So you just really need to find the right spot. And good thing that DoorDash it has some areas that general areas where most most of them will have busier busy times, and if there's a busy time there that really I can take advantage of. I'll take advantage of it because that's money coming into my pocket. And and with DoorDash, if you're not doing um, one day payout, meaning if you have you have to use like an app and pay a fee to to uh, put all your money uh, that you earn for DoorDash into your pocket. Um, the thing is with those, those are great, but you gotta pay like a fee which is like $2 or something. And I don't wanna go, and I know $2 is not a lot, but as time goes by, if you keep doing it, it adds up. So instead of doing it, DoorDash actually pays weekly. So every Monday, my payout is already, they give me my money, but it doesn't come towards my bank uh, on the next day because of processing reasons. But, oh, but aside from that, uh, if you don't do like a one day payment, one day payout, or you have to pay a fee just to get all your money, just to get your money into your pocket right away, DoorDash actually gives you all that money that you earned. 100% of that money that you earn on DoorDash goes straight to your pocket for free every week. 
and I actually like that. And it, I know it, it takes a long time for that, but the payout is is immense because I don't need to pay for any extra fees. It's for free, and I can't resist free. Who, who can anyone say no to free? Of course not. If someone's gonna give me a free car and it works fine, <laughs> I'll take it. So that, that's basically what DoorDash is. And that's one of the reasons why I actually quit McDonald's. It's because, you know, they're not giving me a lot of schedule. Not giving me a lot of schedule. They're not giving me a lot of hours to work with the schedule. And, and I didn't really like the fact that they actually called me saying that I should have worked on that day. Even though I told, I asked the main manager that that if I had any sort of work, do I have any other hours to work on another day aside from Tuesday? And he said right in front of my face, no. And then here we are on, on I believe this was on a Sunday, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I got a call from the assistant manager that, hey, you should have worked on this day. And they tried to suspend me. And I was, and I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So, after, after that, after I heard that, I decided to quit the job. And here I am now with DoorDash. And honestly, the money that I've earned with DoorDash is more effective than me working at McDonald's. Honestly, it is. So, so there you guys have it. I am, that's also one of the reasons why I'm not posting a lot on, on my uh, YouTube channel. But don't worry, it's my channel's not dead, okay? I'm still posting videos. It's just taking me a while for, you know, it's taking me a while for to make videos for you guys. Because, you know, I, I'm starting to get a little bit busy now, and I got a life. I need to at least have some money just to support myself. Revert to this lane over here real quick. So, yeah. So that's what's up. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm sorry about the shaky camera. Like I said before, the camera stand that my phone is being held on is being held on is uh, not the greatest. If I had like a better camera stand, it would be more stable. Which is also probably just by the fact that this car does not have a really good suspension. Um, what I mean by that, this car does not not absorbing any shock uh, because this car is basically running uh, riding on springs I need to get that suspension replaced soon but aside from that that's what's going on today that's what's going on with me lately with with my life make that I quit McDonald's just to make room for DoorDash and DoorDash is actually more effective than McDonald's Honestly, it is. I would only go back to McDonald's just mainly to get food as a customer, not as a as a full time or at least a part time job. And if you guys are thinking about working at McDonald's, I mean, I I can't hold you back. I mean, if, if you if you're just in college, you know, and you need some money. I mean, I can't take that away from you. If you want to look for a job, go for it. If you want to have a job at McDonald's, go for it. But be alert on what schedule you also get because sometimes you do not like what your schedule is. That's all I, that's all I can say to you guys. So, yep, I'm almost heading to school, guys. And before I go, uh, so if so, since I got this job, since I got a job at DoorDash, really, it's not really a job; it's more of something. I forgot to mention about this that uh, uh, first of all, is this going to affect anything on the channel? No, absolutely not. I'm still going to be the same. I'm still going to be posting some videos. Don't worry about that, guys. I still got something, some more videos to post for Forza Motorsport 7 and Horizon 4. 
but um, I need to start making some more Horizon 3 videos for you guys because you know I kind of miss playing that game. But um, nothing's really gonna happen on my channel. Um, oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, with DoorDash, um, you're not worked on a fixed schedule. You basically work on your own schedule. So meaning if I want to work at one o'clock in the afternoon and finish up at two o'clock in the morning on that next day, I can do that. And I can end my, my shift at any time. If I'm ready to call the day, I'm ready to call it a day. I don't need no uh, anybody. I don't need anybody to tell me what to do, just to do my job. DoorDash is basically your own boss. I'm the boss, basically, of, of DoorDash. Um, I'm a I'm the boss of making my own schedule, and I can you know drive. This I can deliver food to people using my own car. And my car is already giving me back money. No other people, especially with these people who brag that, oh, I spent 12 grand on working on this Pontiac Trans Am with a big 5.7 liter V8. It sounds muscular. It's fast. It's crazy. Yeah, that's great. But does it bring you back money? No. So... And here, here I am driving a, you know, a piece of crap Toyota Camry Solara. Well, it's not really a piece of crap, but it's just the way I describe it as a, as someone who thinks he or she knows better. Here I am driving a piece of crap Toyota Camry, and yet alone, I just earned three hundred dollars last over three hundred dollars last week. <laughs> Yeah, this car may be a piece of crap with uh, 160,000 miles, but hey, it's giving me back money. So, anyways, guys, uh, that's it for now. Like I said, DoorDash it's a really it's really good. I mean, if you love driving and you love to and you if you want to do something like that, go for it. And I in, enjoy driving, and that's basically what I did. I signed up for DoorDash and just went through an orientation and and went through all that stuff just to do, just to drive, have some fun. And I, so far, I love it. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm heading off to school. I'm almost there. So, there'll be plenty of videos coming up very soon. Talk to you guys again soon.